Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today I got a really cute little lemon head wrapper for you. It is um, a little slide out treat. Of course, the way these things open up, you can just open. You don't have to, but they slide out. And we're just gonna feature some brand new projects or products. We've got our Tea Boutique paper and a cup of tea bundle. I love this new stamp set. It's a 20 piece photopolymer. You can bundle it up with the teacup dies and save 10%. Let's get some ink pads and do some stamping. It's photopolymer, so we'll use a Stampin' Pierce mat. And I've got Garden Green, So Saffron, Crushed Curry, and Memento Tuxedo Black. And some basic white scraps. Got a little head start and did a sprig from Garden Green and die cut it. We need three, but we've got two dies. So I got a head start on one. Let's stamp the other two. And then my little flower. My flower is so saffron, but we're gonna do second generation. So stamp off on some scratch paper and then stamp on your cardstock. You'll get a lighter yellow. And we need a lemon slice. We're gonna do crushed curry for that lemon slice and the tag. Got tuxedo black for the outline and the little enjoy word. We're gonna do that with garden green. All right, let's go ahead and die cut these. Let me get rid of the ink pads and bring in the stamp and cut and emboss machine. I love the teacup dies because they have um, two of the little flower and two of the little sprig. So we can do all of our die cutting for this project in two passes because we need three sprigs. But extra dies are always nice. All right, there they are. There's all of our bits. We're gonna set them aside and work on the wrapper. My wrapper is garden green and it is three by five and seven eighths inches. We're gonna pop that into the Simply Score tool and score according to the template. Template photo is always in the project sheet that's available at kitchentablestamper.com. We're on the five and seven eighths inch side and we're gonna score at one half, one and one eighth, two and seven eighths, and three and a half. Now let's work those score lines with the bone folder. And then for fun, we're gonna add a little detail. We're gonna emboss the back panel with the brick and mortar 3D folder. I'm gonna bring my stamp and cut and emboss machine in. And we've got number one, which is the platform. We're gonna put the brick and mortar folder so that the bricks go horizontal. And we'll pop the back panel just up to that first score line there into the folder. Now you're gonna to have to put this in carefully because the hinge is gonna go along the side of the machine. So you wanna make sure that that's snugged up so the hinge is not hanging past your platform. Then you bring number four, add number four to the top. And again, snug that up. You don't want the hinge to scrape against the side of the machine. You'll take the hinge right off your folder. So do it carefully, line up nicely and then crank. And now we have brick and mortar on the back of our treat package. Let's get some tear and tape and put it together. We're gonna add the tear and tape on the half inch panel here and you wanna do it right up against the fold, full strip. Let's grab a, take your pick tool, remove the liner. And then you're gonna fold this up on 
got your brick the way that you want it to go. It's right side up. You're gonna fold on the second fold and then fold that one inch under and burnish that down flat. Now you've got a perfectly square opening that you can slide the candy right inside. We're not gonna do that yet because we're gonna try some ribbon first, but when you do it flat like that, everything lines up square. The edges are square. When you pop it up, you've got nice 90 degree corners. All right, so let's add our designer series paper and ribbon. Got some black and white gingham here and the T Boutique designer series paper. <laughs> I love this lemon design. This is two and seven eighths by one and five eighths. I'm gonna use some liquid glue and center it right on the front. There's gonna be a tiny little green border all the way around once you've got it pretty well centered. It's nice to flatten it all out and burnish down. And I'm gonna thread my ribbon through my treat and tie a bow a little bit left of center. All right, so we've got our ribbon. Let's go ahead and cut away from the spool and trim the tail. Now we can go ahead and slide the candy. Isn't that cute? Much cuter now, isn't it? All right, let's bring in our sample and some mini glue dots and mini Stampin' Dimensionals. All those adorable images that we stamped and cut. I'm gonna start with the tag. I'm gonna adhere that to the package with a mini dimensional. And then the little flower, that one's gonna go on with a mini glue dot. It'll go right on the knot of our ribbon. The knot is gonna work as a dimensional for the flower. And then the lemon gets mini dimensionals. Isn't it just so cute? I love that little lemon slice. Got some half minis here. We're gonna add them to the back of the sprigs. Okay, everybody's sticky, so we can go ahead and arrange the little sprigs so that they stick out from under the flower. That's it, we're almost done. Can you believe it? Such a fast little treat. One that you could definitely make for everybody. It's not complete without a little sparkle. Let's get a rhinestone basic gem here and we're gonna add that to the center of our flower. Got my take your pick tool. We'll just add a little sparkle and there it is. What do you think? You guys wanna see where my inspiration came from? Let me show you. All right, so in the kitchen table Stamper Craft Social, we play games every Thursday. And this Thursday is Inspiration Kitchen. This is our inspiration for the week. And your job is to grab your Stampin' Up! supplies, make a project, that is inspired by the kitchen and come on over and share the links in the video in the description below. If you've got any questions, reach out marissa at kitchentablestamper.com is my email and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.